Welcome to this guide to AI workers on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. AI workers, they have a history. For most people, they have a history. <laughs> Helper A has decided to go off and have a nap, you know. Um, but as of the video that I posted, was it last week, when we were told about AI workers, um, I've had a bit of a fiddle around with this. I To say I'm impressed is a, an understatement. It's not without its quirks. It's not without its issues. There's a couple of other things you're going to find out on here as well. Um, I've just I've grabbed some vehicles. This is now my test map. I've got a load of money in there because I've used the... I did a video on it, the multiplayer money cheat that existed on FS19. Uh, I've used that. So... I have a little low loader trailer. Is it the Bramer? Who is that? Tell me, look. We'll say what it is. The Bramer Transport Wagon TP500S. And on it, I've got a cultivator. Now, I could just put the cultivator on the back of the tractor, but where's the fun in that? Because this is going to highlight something very important, too. I'll show you that first. Um, let's tie it up. I can lift the low loader. And uh, if you watch very cl uh, closely, if I put the straps on, now it kind of goes bump and holds it down a little bit like when you used to do the bales auto loading bales and you kind of load them properly unload here things strap down so whilst the straps don't go over the top now i will show you let's drive across the yard this cultivator on the back of this low loader now this is base game stuff i'm on console ps5 let's get a bit of speed up and let's turn sharply that cultivator is going nowhere. So things that you strap down, vehicle, I assume it's going to work with vehicles. Should we try it with a vehicle? This wasn't what this was supposed to be about. Um, let's lower that down. Okay, I've taken the liberty of grabbing another low loader. This one's the Flegel DTS 5.9. And we've got, you know, Deutsch Fahrers on FS19. I think, do we not start with them all? We've got a Deutsch Fahrer 8 series. There's a 7, an 8, and I think a 9 as well. So what we'll do, let's load this in the back and just see. I haven't done any modifications to this. I just grabbed a, a tractor and... Don't worry, we're going to get on to AI workers in just a second. Is that going to be too big to go on that low load? We're about to find out. Doesn't sound good. Let's... Hang on. Oh, it's that thing, isn't it? Now, is it going to do the same with the tractor? Oh, look, do you notice? Bomb. Oh, finally, have we got a system where vehicles and equipment strap down? Base game feature, it looks like it. Stop suddenly. Doesn't go anywhere. It looks like it. Right, well there we go. That's one thing sorted. Let's disconnect from that. Vehicles and machinery. Lock onto trailers now. Someone was asking me, now you know. Um, so, what I'm going to do, because I'm, I'm busy, I've got stuff to do, I need to pop to the donut shop and stuff like that. I haven't got time to be taking my own equipment back, you know. So, we go into our menu. We're on the active workers menu. It's the second one down, that's the main map. We come down to that one, active workers. So I've got a few different vehicles and bits and bobs. That's on the back of the low loader, obviously. Um, this one here, if we click on it, is our eight RX410. Now that trailer's already attached on the back, it's got its bit of equipment. And down the bottom it says create job. So I'm going to create job. Now you can just set a destination and send it off to a destination, which I might well have to do. So I'm on go to at the moment, but I, I don't have a destination set, do I? Actually, what I need to do? Let's cancel. Let's set a destination first. Um, oh, I've got one set already. When did I do that? Okay, that's interesting. Well, I've got a destination set. It's there at the farm. So I press triangle, set destination, pick target location. All right, okay, so it obviously wasn't set. So R3 to select, and then we can change the rotation. So that's the direction I think it's facing when it finishes. You can have it turn around and stuff like that, as far as I can tell from fiddling around. So I pick a target rotation. We'll have it that way around. It doesn't matter. We'll just get it to pull up in the yard. Press R3. We are selected. So we are on a go to. The job started. Didn't even have to press anything, and now <laughs> he's off. 
go to. It's taking my equipment, I don't have to do it. And as far as like filming goes and stuff like that, you think of the shots and stuff you can do now on videos when stuff goes past you. You can have actual delivery drivers taking your stuff and that's cool. I better get to the farm because it's pretty cool when you see it arrive. Um, so we'll come to that menu. Let's go to our house. Let's visit. And let's wait and see what happens. So what it should do is it should arrive. That's great. So that's a go-to. We've got something being delivered. Big piece of advice to this is turn traffic off. <laughs> if you want traffic off. I said it has its little foibles and it's, you know... Um, if there's anything in the way, anywhere, you're going to have problems. It, it will decide, eh, okay, I can't turn. I think at one point I had a vehicle facing forwards into a parking space. I, I think it always wants to go forwards when it drives off. Um, so it doesn't want to reverse up if you set a route. So you need to kind of set it up, give it the best chance possible to get it going, but it will go. And as you can see, I mean, I'm beaming from here to here. Is this not just incredibly cool? I mean, yes, right, that's not very pretty to look at, but I can be getting on with other stuff. I can have stuff delivered. If I'm harvesting in the field and I want a tractor and trailer to come to me, I can set go to from my farm. Off it comes. Oh, it is turning around. I thought I had it facing the other way. Anyway, this target is unreachable. Well, it's made it to the yard, and you know what? I'm happy with that. It's arrived. Well, that's fantastic. I'm going to move that out of the way now. Because I'm going to move on to the next thing. Next thing is going to be deliver. And then we're going to try load and deliver, <laughs> which I haven't done yet. Not standard and deliver, we're not highwaymen, but let's go into our menu again. Now, my other vehicle, we finished a harvest over here. I brought a full trailer back. We've only got a little bit left in this one. So we're going to actually I need to on that menu. There we go. So we're going to click on it and we need to create job. So I've got a bigger menu now because that's got a trailer on the back and it's got stuff in it. So I'm going to deliver, load and deliver, or go to. Well, I'm going to deliver, and then it gives me some options. Unloading the station, oil mill, I can take it all over the place. Wherever I want it to go, I can deliver it. Now, sometimes, depending on what crop you've got, um, it will put up a little warning triangle there to say you can't put it there. If I do load and deliver, I think it's load and deliver, you see where it says unloading station down there? Great processing unit. For unloading, it will only unload at the place where that's accepted. It, it won't do it any other way. Um, but I want deliver. So we're going to go on that. And I'm going to take it to my silo. I want this to deliver what's left to my silo. The loading position. Well, it's unloading this time. doesn't matter about that. Looping job. I don't want it looping. I'm not going between silos. If you were going to empty a silo and take it to somewhere else, you can have it looping, so it will keep doing that until it runs out of crop, out of grain. I don't want it looping, I just want it to take it there and unload it. So that should be okay. Let's start the job. So as you can see, live action on the map. There's no traffic, there's no fences. So bear in mind, depending on the maps, and as we move forward in the game, depending on modded maps and whatever happens, if you've got maps with hedges and collisions and fences, or if you've heavily modified your map and you've put fences around all your fields and that kind of thing, you've got to expect that it's going to get hung up. You know, I mean, when you think about how far this has come and what an absolutely game-changing thing this is on its own, it's just phenomenal. So what I'm going to do is come out of there. I've moved that right out of the way because I don't want it to try and turn and catch on to that or anything at all. So what should happen is it should come along the road as it is now. It should, should again, should, fingers crossed, it should come down the road, swing in and unload into my silo, which is great. So then what we'll try then is to load and deliver and we'll see what happens there. I, do, I just don't know. Um, the mind boggles. It really does. And it's going to take a bit of playing around. And obviously different crops and different locations. How far across the map will it go without having too many issues? You definitely need to have um, traffic off though. Because if you have any of these weird turning or it turns at a funny angle. That's pretty impressive, I have to say. <laughs> is it not just me? Is that not just the coolest thing? <laughs> Oh my days. Um, I'm sure I put it on not looping. Where are you going? <gasps> oh, is it have I still got a target destination set? Is it gonna come over here and park? Um 
Bye. I thought I said... Right, let's cancel job. Right, let's stop there. Okay. I'm sure I didn't have it on looping. Maybe I did leave it on looping by mistake. I'll see when I edit. Right, okay. So that's a go-to. That's a deliver. Um, the, the work on fields... Um, I haven't actually tried that yet, you know, because I haven't got a field ready to harvest. Whether or not you can click on the field and it will then go off. I wonder if you can do that with a, the harvester. What will that say? Great job. Field work, yeah. So field work, I can set it off to go to a field. <laughs> and it will go and start harvesting as far as I can tell. Yeah, I mean, I haven't got one ready for that. I didn't even, that, I didn't even consider that. But that will be an option. Um but anyway, that's not what we're going to be doing. Let's cancel that. I want to go to this one. So we're back on this again. Great job. So this time we're going to load and deliver. The loading station is my silo. What I want loaded is canola. That's all I've got in there. I can go through and I can pick what I want it to load, whatever I've got. But I've got canola. That's what I want it to take. So it's going to my silo, collecting canola, and then it's going to take it to. Now, the unloading station has got to be somewhere. That will take it. So let's go through them all. Grain pool. Just think if we could take one right a long way away. Feeding grain south. I was just going to take it to the oil mill, but should we try feeding grain south? Johnson's Farmers Market is up north. Yeah, we'll do that one. Let's try that, shall we? Do I want it looping? I don't think I've got enough for a full load and more. So we'll have. No yeah, I think I had it on looping before. That's why I didn't I? No looping. So let's start job and see what it does. Now the other thing I haven't checked yet. And I am curious about, if you've got crop destruction on, as you've just seen, it turned around in the field there. But on FS19, if you hired a worker, it wouldn't destroy crops. It was, it was pretty good for that. So I wouldn't have thought so. It would be pretty harsh if it is. If it does, then it will be a case, if you're going to hire workers and use this AI system, I can't honestly can I get mad around this. This is absolutely bonkers. It's loading. Sorry about this old chap. I'm just going to jump up on the bonnet. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm absolutely button. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, right. Silence empty. <gasps> In the way. So sorry. Get out of the trailer. Right. Oh, right. So we've got a problem now. Now that's interesting because when it unloaded, it pulled away no problem at all and turned round. This time it's tried to turn so sharply it's caught the trailer. I said it wasn't without its issues. That's annoying. Hmm. So I'm controlling that now and I think we are stuck. Well, how annoying is that? Reflective beacons are pretty cool, though. Go and watch my video on updates and changes and things that we weren't aware of. Come on. There we go. Let's try that again. Well, we know it loads. See, there are going to be some issues, aren't there, quite clearly. Jumping to future me, I'm not happy about how that went, and I want to try it again. I want it to work. So let's see. It'll probably cut to the later part of it in a minute. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to go back into this menu. Uh, we're going to click on the McCormick. We're going to create the job. We want to load and deliver. Loading station. I've got wheat in there now because I used everything I had. Uh, so we're going to go to our silo, collect wheat. And we're going to go to the unloading station. I set it up as Johnson's Farmer's Market looping. Actually, if I leave it on looping, it'll bring the tractor back to here, won't it? If I do that, we could do that, couldn't we? Um, and start job. Now I'm curious to see. I really desperately want it to be able to pull it. I think because it's not programmed, it's not pulling away far enough before it starts to turn. Because it's going off in that direction, it's deciding I need to turn around immediately. And that could be the problem. So I just, I just wanted to, for my own sanity, double check this. The other thing I'm going to do 
uh, which I'm going to probably edit in, uh, in later on, is the question has been asked about what's the maximum amount of workers you can have working. Oh no, you got around this time. That's good. That's already an improvement on before. So that's now going to head off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump to future me. So obviously it's not going to be wheat in there now. The next bit you see is going to be the canola that I had before. Uh, we'll stop and we'll see it coming past at the livestock market and then we'll see it tipping. But I just wanted to show that that bit can work and, <laughs> and does work. Um, what we'll do, Johnson's Farmer's Market. Oh, it's all up there, isn't it? So let's just follow it on here for a minute. So let's come off the vehicle thing. I think we said press me. I was right. Let's go to there. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. So what I'll do, I'll do a jump in just a second. We'll see it come past here. It should make the turn. I think if it goes this way, it should make the turn just there. Go around behind, then we'll go to Johnson's Farmer's Market and we'll see it unload. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fairly straightforward system, I guess. When you've had a bit of a play around with it, you are going to have the odd issue like that. Um, and you may find that frustrating. It may be annoying. You know, it'll be a bit of a fiddle around. So just let me wait a few seconds. I'll let it out and we'll see it come past. <laughs> oh man. Is it going to make it sound? Where's it going? Oh, there you go. Just realised. <laughs> Back to the map. Oh, it's nice. Made the turn fine. Um, which way will it come in? <laughs> I'm blown away by this. Here he comes. Well, so I mean, yeah, like I say, it's going to be like the other workers we've had on FS19. You, you might get the odd issue here and there. You might have to go and recover them, help them. And like I say, it's going to depend on what maps we get in the future. Obviously, these maps that the game's starting with have been set up by giants. They know this all works with it. They've tried and tested it. How that will pan out with modded maps, who knows? But it is a system and it does work. Come around the back to unload. Now, no difference to hiring workers at any other time. The money is going down. Top right is going down because I've got a hired worker. <laughs> there we go. We have delivered to a sell point as well. I mean, that would have been a load and deliver. It would have been perfect if it had done it perfectly without hitting that silo at the other end. Um, but there we go. Some cool stuff. So at this point, I'm adding in some extra clips. This one being that I've got the harvester running and I've got the, tr the tractor I was just in is arriving at the field that I've set all by itself. I'm just going to sit and watch it. But I'm also going to jump to some other clips of things as I was doing this. I suddenly thought, well, I meant to check this. I should check that. Um, and then right at the very end, we'll cut back to where I was just a minute ago. I know it's a bit of bouncing around, but I wanted to make sure... Um, that I kind of covered as many different things as I could. People have been asking about... Um, how many workers can we have on the go at the same time? So what I'm intending to do is grab um, six, eight harvesters. Um, I think it's going to be six is what the maximum has been up to now. I'm going to grab eight, bring them out to the field, and we'll get those running to see what the maximum amount of workers we can have. Um, and then I also want to test um, a loop um, as well to see how that goes. That's the plan. And that's arrived exactly where I want it, which means I can jump in and go and unload the harvester. You know, still smiling. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, this is crazy at the moment. I thought I'd get as many harvesters as I could into the field to check how many workers I can have going at once. And I thought, well, I'm not driving them all up there myself. This is the beauty of this. Look, I've got four harvesters all going on their own. And what I'll do, I'll set this one off as well. I don't think I've got enough headers, have I? I was hoping to have like six on the go at once, but I don't think I'm going to get to there. Either. The other one, first one's going to get there before I get this one going. Oh, come on. Swing that round. I want to make sure it's facing at least the right direction ish. So I switch to that, go to that, click on it, set destination. That one's just arrived. Let's put this one over here somewhere. Hang on. That one is what I want. There we go. Set destination. Let's go to there, there, there. He's now heading off as well. I hope I've moved them all slightly over. Now, obviously, I've got crops in there, but I've got crop destruction turned off at the moment. This does make life a lot easier. If you buy a load of equipment and machinery at the store in one go and you don't have to take it, because, you know, on console, it's not batters and forwards, batters and forwards. But it's pretty cool. You can do this if you bought a couple of vehicles. And you can just, OK, well, I'll set them off. They can be heading up to the yard. The target is unreachable. Switch to the next one, go to that map. Where's he got to? Oh, obviously set it down here somewhere. He's tried to go down the road and he's driven into my tractor. I would imagine the next one's going to do the same thing. Let's set that one. Set destination, I'll put it up right up in the corner here. Do that, that, that. He's now heading off as well. Now what I'll do is jump to the other end, because I'm curious now. Yeah, he got stuck there. That one's already arrived, that one's arriving, that one has stopped there, that one's coming, there should be more coming down the road. So, I mean, this is, in essence, yeah, they're driving into the field, I shouldn't really have them doing that. Oh, that was what I was going to do, let's change that very quickly. It was crop destruction, wasn't it? It's on this one? Crop destruction on. Oh, come on. It does this sometimes, I'm not quite sure why. Let's see if the next one that comes into the field causes any crop destruction. That was another thing to check as part of the AI workers. Do they cause crop destruction when they drive onto a field with crop destruction on? I don't think they will. The problem you've got then is if you drive them out of the field with crop destruction on, because I've left them here, that's going to cause... This is crazy. There you go. Another one's coming there. Right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to get the rest of them here and I'll get it set up. But I did have a 1.4 going. See, that's an answer the question of what's the maximum amount of workers we can have going. I need them all lined up on a field and I'll go bomb, 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 set them all off and we'll see whether it's above six or not. I don't, I'll say, I don't know if it will be, but we shall see. Next check then, I've got eight harvesters lined up. Six was the most amount of workers we could have on FS19 on console. If we go above six, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I don't think it will go above six, but what's your money on? What do we think? Let's hire a worker, that way, hire a worker, that way, hire a worker. Yep, six. Won't let me hire this one. So we're still six maximum. Four workers you can hire in the field. That does look pretty cool though. Six harvesters all trying off across the field. Yeah, so six is the maximum. That answers another question. A lot of people have been asking me. Um, yeah, that was fairly straightforward and fairly... That was quick and easy to answer. Very happy about that. Uh, I'm now thinking what's the next thing, I think. I might have covered a lot of it. They're all running, active workers. Yeah, you cannot hire more AI workers because you already reached the limit. Sad times. Now it's all going to go to pieces now because they can't all turn around. <laughs> now, obviously, there are a lot of permutations within the AI worker system that can be looked at and explored. Obviously, with production chains, we can be delivering two production chains. 
I haven't done my video or delved into the production chains yet. Um, I did do a quick test off screen, delivering to one, and I got paid for what I put into it. I think it's because you don't, I don't own the production chain building yet. I think you have to own it first, but I'll go into, into a little bit deeper with that with production chains. That's not what this is about. But what I am going to do, I'm in the harvester. I'm going to go to that menu, um, and then we're going to click onto our tractor. Now, I'm going to create job, and we're going to deliver, and I'm going to deliver to our silo, and I'm going to leave it on looping this time rather than not looping. So what should happen is that driver will take it back to our silo, unload, providing he doesn't get hooked up on the silo, fingers crossed. He'll then come back around and back to the field, so that if we can carry on harvesting, we can then unload to him. Now, obviously, either that or we can just have the harvester on a worker as well, and I can be off doing something else. But it does mean the backwards and forwards part of it, I shouldn't have to worry about. So if I start a job now, and I come back out of there, we're in the harvester, as you can see. I mean, I've got a worker on it, but I am in the harvester. Just to kind of simulate that thing. Worker's heading off, no problem at all. Fingers crossed he doesn't get hooked up or anything. That's the only thing that, that, I'm, that we're having a little niggle with at the moment, I think. It's just those tiny little bits. Um, I, will, I will tell you now, off camera, to test the production chains thing, I got that same worker. Rather than take it to the silo and come back, I sent it to the grain mill up there on looping. It drove from here, all the way along there, all the way up there, all the way to the grain silo, came around the back of the grain silo and back out and came back no problem at all absolutely no problem at all and as you can see on the map I just, I just so hope it does this and comes back out again without any problem so what we'll do is jump to our John Deere I'm just so curious now I mean obviously this is this is this, all these series, the videos I'm going to be doing, I was thinking, do I call them tutorials? Do I call them a guide to, a how-to, that kind of thing? I always prefer a guide to, because it is a guide. I, I love, I've said this before when I do all my videos before, when I do help videos and that kind of thing. It's a learning process along with me. I don't like doing that kind of, I know best, I know everything, this is how you do it, ignore everyone else kind of thing. I do prefer that kind of, well, let's test it, let's see. You know, and while I'm doing things, often I have an idea in my head and I think, well, I've tested this, I've tested that, that works, this works. Then something else will pop into my head and I'll think, oh, I wonder. Um, and that's what, I, that's why I prefer calling it a guide to rather than a tutorial or a lesson or, a, you know, there is that inference that you know best, you know, kind of thing, which I guess is what people are looking for. They want to come on and they want to know, how do I use the AI workers? Um, but I, th I find it's more, I find it's more approachable when you can relate to the person. I don't know, that's just me. Well, he unloaded. He's heading back off again. So, jump back to a harvester. He should come back on the road now and he'll come back to the field. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I really am. And like I say, if we come onto that menu again, um, picking, for example, we pick that. There's nothing on the back of that at the moment. But because we've got go to, obviously I've got nothing on it, so there's nothing to deliver. The field jobs we kind of looked at already, but there's a lot of possibility possibility to this. I mean, you could have multiple vehicles travelling all over the place, couldn't you, around the map? And with the production chain system all linked into that as well. Yeah, I mean, it just goes on and on, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, another test. Once it pulls up and stops, I think, successful. Look at that. I mean, that's a site you just didn't see. Unless you were playing multiplayer, you didn't see an FS-19. It couldn't happen. You couldn't do it. And how long will it be before we're all really blasé and very kind of, oh, yeah, well, yeah, workers. That's amazing. I mean, just playing devil's advocate, if you're doing stuff already and you want to set up a worker, you can tab. Like a tab, set up a worker, tab back. But for the sake of a kind of more realistic gameplay thing, if you're going to open up the menu, you're kind of almost like it's a, a computerized GPS sort of system, or you're sort of saying, 
this is my worker control page this is my tablet this is my phone i'm picking up the phone saying go here go there do that start the field there no it depends how you want to look at it but i think as options as options go it's cool it's, it's a cool system you know it works it really, it really does it does um i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.